Okay, kids, I've had issues with the tail on this thing. The Starwood tail, which is the old Horoba tail, which is now the Vario tail, which is, you know. Anyway, this tail uh, has the ability to flap back and forth. Well, it's been flapping so bad that it's actually, the blades are making contact with the boom. It's like chipping off the paint and all this other stuff. So they're flapping like there's, yeah. So thanks to Sandy, uh, I had, he sent me a, a little uh, drawing for a bronze bushing to put on the backside plate that goes, that holds the grip. But really, there's only one radial bearing and one thrust bearing in this thing. So there's a lot of movement. That thing flaps back and forth and I'll show you here in a second. So he put a bronze bushing on the outside to kind of hold it better in place so that the, the blade grip doesn't flap on the shaft, on the, the, the individual shaft for that blade. Now there is a- Military traffic, are we working for South Sierra, five miles to the south. We transitioning your airspace headed north at 3,000 feet. Well, at least I can hear them. So anyway, there is a flapping pivot on each blade. So it's allowed to flap to a point. Well, so far, they... God, the people in their stupid planes. <laughs> there is too much movement with just the one radial bearing and the thrust bearing of the blade grip on the shaft. So the bronze bushing that Sandy was giving me was to help kind of eliminate some of that stuff. Well, I'm trying something different. Now this is not gonna, this is only temporary because I'm putting a whole new tail rotor gearbox and tail rotor hub. I'm gonna put a whole new thing on there because this is just too wishy-washy. So for now, what I'm trying is I put an extra O-ring on the shaft that pushes up against that back plate of the blade grip. Now, this puts more resistance on that so they don't, that it's not real smooth as far as giving pitch, but there's enough there that it, it didn't jam up anything or do anything weird. So I'm going to try it. We're gonna try. Ah, uh, nope. Oh, fuck it caught. Nice, brisk, windy day. Look at the flag. <laughs> Fucking straight out. Well, the tail seems to be holding. That's a total crosswind, two flag. I haven't touched the tail, it's holding and heading hold. So that's pretty good. So I would say that it feels like it has extra expo in it with the resistance on the O-rings that were added on. Jesus. Fucking blades are way out. Might need to do some tracking on them blades.
Okay, so yesterday, I think I put it in the video, <laughs> that uh, it, it, the tail held really well. I didn't have any weird things going on because of the extra resistance of the O-rings. Uh, it held really good in the side crosswind. So that was just hovering around. So today we're going to do some actual fast forward flight on it and see how well it actually holds. Cause that's where the problem comes in with this tail is in the forward flight. The flapping of the blade grips gets to going so bad that it's horrible. You know, it's actually going over and making contact with the tail boom. One of the blades actually hit the tail boom. So anywho, we're going to try this out and see how it goes. All right, we're going to take this bitch out. Let's see if we can get this done. <laughs> You and your damn full-size planes, Todd. Like how many laps can I get in before he touches ground? Uh, 
I didn't see it. Get out your tail. Get down. Something on the tail. So what you can see here is there's the back plate. There's four bolts that attach it to the blade grip. And right there, you can kind of see the second O-ring. The first O-ring is actually sitting about right here. So there's the second one. And that took out a lot of the play that is on the shaft from the blade grip itself. So this is allowed to flap by this pivot point right there. And what it was doing is it was moving around uh, on the shaft itself and we're trying to eliminate that movement. So the only movement is actually the designed pivot point right there. So that's what I did. And it came out pretty good today in all of its glory. So, yeah. Now, we're going to go back and we're going to find a new tail rotor gearbox. I'm going to replace this whole thing to get rid of all of that. Yeah. Okay. Get out there and build something.